Hi, Dottie. Tony here. I'm getting back to you about Print Artist Premium. So, I'm on a Windows 7 machine right now, and I just read an article that indicates you can get it running in Windows XP emulation mode. So, here's how you do that. When you put the CD in, don't, you know, if this autoplay comes up, don't, don't do that. What you want to do is click Open Folder to View Files. And then we're going to change it to Windows, or change the Windows compatibility settings. So in here, you'll see the DVD drive, you know, with that print artist in there. And you'll see a type of file. And you're looking for the word application, like right here. And if you don't see that type, right-click anywhere up here, and then you can left-click on type. And here you'll see it's gone, and then you can right-click, and then left-click on type, and then it's back. And I like to sort, so just click type. And it's these two application files that we need to change. So what you do is right-click on autoplay. And then we're going to left click on properties, left click compatibility, then click on run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP. And I'm going to also run it 256 colors and then click on run this program as administrator. Now we're going to make these changes for every application file on that disk. And this is only a one-time thing, and it's not guaranteed to work, but I was able to get it to work on mine. So, again, just take a mental snapshot of what that looks like. Apply, and OK. And now I'm basically going to just keep going into Properties, Compatibility, click Run This Program, click Windows XP, run 256, and then Administrator, and then OK. Now there's other folders in there. You want to make sure to see if there's any other application type files. So none there, none here. Go to Fonts, GFX. Oh, I saw one there at the top. Or I thought I did. Maybe it was in the font folder. Yeah, there it is. So right click, left click properties, compatibility, XP, 256, and administrator. Go to the JPEG folder. And again, I'm just clicking on the type. There's nothing. Looks like we've got a few three files here. Now it's not required to do this for every application file on the disk. I just highly recommend it because you're never it's never a hundred percent as far as what um, what programs require it. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. This, um, this compatibility mode seems to be at first, but all we're doing is telling it to run in an earlier version of Windows. Nothing there. And then under System, there's one file. And, and by the way, these compatibility settings are only for this program. And then Apply, and then OK. And then you just basically go back to your drive here and double click your um, autoplay file or you know actually double click on the setup file that's what, that's what I did when I tested it and by the way too if you ever get out of this menu I'll show you how to get back in you just simply right click on Windows Start and then left click on Open Windows Explorer and then I expand my DVD drive and and if I go into Let's give it a minute here. I'll expand this. And if I go into that setup file, you'll notice that 
what I had changed them to are still in there. And that is it. I hope that makes sense. Bye.